Doing a little torque test on the impact drivers here from Home Depot, available in January 2019. We have um, the rigid brushed model. We have the uh, rigid brushless model. We have the Rayobi uh, brushless model um, with the uh, lithium ion plus HP battery. And we have the Milwaukee Fuel with the high output um, XC 6.0 battery. Um, the brushless uh, rigid here has the uh, hyper octane battery. It's supposed to get a little bit better performance out of that. And the, um, the brushed rigid has um, a regular 4 AH battery in it. So I'm going to run a, um, a timber lock um, um, into this uh, hardwood tree here. And um, I've had this before, uh, building a tree house for my kids where I got uh, one of these things stuck. It's a six inch timber lock and it's a pain in the butt to try to get back out. So I'm gonna see which one of these impact driver performs the best uh, going into this tree and, and back and back out. Okay, that's the brushed, rigid gun. Won't go any deeper. Won't come out any further. And this is actually the second time that I've done this test. Um, just want to see if I get consistent results. Um, we're sitting at three inches deep. Um, last time I think it went about a half inch deeper before it got stuck. I think it was at two and a half, but um, let's give it another shot to drive it in. No budge, go out. No go. So um, that's the rigid brushed model. And now I will try it with the rigid brushless model uh, to see if it's able to, well, actually let's go with the Rayobi first. I'm kind of anticipating what the, what the power capacity of these may be. Although on one of my other tests, if you watch the video, the Rayobi was able to remove lug nuts that um, these two rigid guns were not able to do, which I was kind of surprised about, but, um, Anyhow, this is the Rayobi um, brushless. I think this one is uh, specced at 2,250 or right around 2,000 um, inch pounds of torque. Let's see if it's able to back this out. Nope. Not going in either. Not coming out. Not going in. So uh, the Rayobi is not able to get it done. And let's see if the rigid brushed model I'm sorry the rigid brushless model is able to back out what the rigid brushed model was able to drive in nope not wanting to do it um, finally let's see on the other test this um, Milwaukee fuel gun was able to do it kind of proving the supreme torque um, power over these four models that we're testing here today. So let's see if it can do it. Backing out. Woo. Not wanting to. Sounds like it's um, it's uh, the safety mechanism that makes the gun give up um, rather than damaging something maybe kicking in. Let me try to go a little deeper with it. It is turning a little bit, but... So actually, in this case, it seems evident it actually snapped off the, the uh, timber lock. So I wouldn't call that a success, but it does prove that the power of this fuel Milwaukee gun is supreme to these other four guns that we tested um, in all the applications that I was able to do that push the limits of these impact drivers um, from uh, driving nuts to driving timber locks into hardwood trees. Um, the fuel is the one that um, is the most powerful even though it's not rated as high as the brushless um, rigid gun. So um, yeah, in most applications for most uh, homeowners probably any of these guns would be great. Um, 
just a little bit of a difference in ergonomics and um, features with the lights and whatnot. But as far as um, power, torque, um, I think you've got your uh, Milwaukee at the top. You've got your brushed um, guns that are kind of getting outdated now at the bottom. And you've got your brushless. Even the Ryobi, that's a less expensive brushless, is, is very, very close to the torque and power. And then one of the applications actually had, um, was able to remove a lug nut that the brushless rigid was not able to. So, um, you know, for money, bang for buck, if you're not too concerned with, um, you know, brand and, um, and uh, different things, the Ryobi may be a good option for you. The rigid guns, um, the benefit is the, um, you know, if you go through everything that they ask you to, for the warranty it does have a lifetime warranty on the guns and the batteries also if you buy them in a kit but when you buy these the newer batteries which is what people are going to be buying now from what i understand they don't have the lifetime warranty the way that the old ones do and um, they may adjust that but um the ryobi has upped the ante a little bit too in giving their batteries a three-year warranty now too so um if you get three years out of a gun that you're using regularly um, or battery you're using regularly, actually doing pretty good. So um, anyhow, that's the, the review on these guns. I hope that was helpful for you.